Here I am with my little guy Max. We have a new project here. It's a solar panel project that I've built up. There'll be several episodes to this. Uh, right now, this is the intro and uh, how to build up the flexible panel frames. After that, we'll have a solar controller. And then after that, we'll have um, a Bluetooth module that you can hook up and use an app on your phone. And then we'll have an inverter application and then some storage ideas for the frames. Um, turns out when I bought my little guy Max, we bought it in April of 2020, right in the middle of the shutdown for the COVID, and um, bought it sight unseen. And what I was disappointed about was it didn't have the solar panel option on it. But it turns out it was a blessing in disguise because I'm able to put this solar panel project together and as you can see here, we've got one of the solar panels. I'm, I'm building up two solar panels uh, that I can put any place on the little guy Max. Put it off to the side and get in the sun, especially if you're underneath some shaded area with the roof panels. You're not going to be getting much solar energy from that. So it gives me a lot of options. It also gives me options to use the same equipment. Got a cabin up in the Adirondacks. So we can use it up there. You can use it at your home. You can use it for boondocking. Um, we have a YouTube channel here, as you can see, the Rambling Roses. And so anyways, we're gonna, there's the panel too, 110 watt panel from SunPower. Same ones they put on the roofs of the little guy Maxes. So this gives me a lot of flexibility. And so we'll move on to the frame build up in this episode. In the next episode, we'll be building up the solar charge controller. And so uh, it listed in the description is all the different episodes that I'll be posting so one of the things you might want to do is subscribe because you'll get a notification when the next episode comes out so I hope you enjoy the video give us a thumbs up and we'll move on to the panel build up what we have here is the parts you're going to need to build the uh, flexible solar panel frames I bought all that stuff at Home Depot with the exception one piece there and so we're gonna move over here and show you the pieces that are needed okay now this is the frame is being built with half inch PVC so you need for one frame you need four corners never need seven T's and two expansions and then as far as hardware you need uh, some stainless steel bolts they're one quarter inch by 20 thread by one and a half inch long there's two packages that two in each one and then you're going to need four wing net nuts and there's uh, four in one package and you're going to need the zip ties here and then this over here are the suction cups that I bought from Amazon um, I'm going to be using probably four suction cups uh, you'll probably only need two it's up to you they are airhead uh, suction cups and they're from Amazon and here they are here and then you're going to need two lengths of half inch PVC uh, they're 10 feet long to build one frame here are the tools you need to uh, build the uh, solar panel frames pretty basic uh, over here you've got this husky one and a quarter inch ratchet PVC cutter I got at Home Depot you need a drill Phillips head a drill bit to drill your corner holes and here's the ratchet over here and of course you need some bits uh, here's a Phillips head bit on the electric drill it's pretty basic not much there uh, to build those frames so let me show you what the uh, how to cut a uh, piece of PVC with these uh, cutters it's um, quite a handy tool better than using a hacksaw or a circular saw quite easy Plus 13 bucks at Home Depot. So here's the tool itself. All you do is pull it like that, snaps it open, ratchet it down, put your PVC tube in wherever you have a mark on it, and you keep ratcheting it down. And then once you get to the tube, you just keep ratcheting. And so there you have it. Quite easy, quite simple. Here we have the back side of the two solar panels. The one on the left is the completed frame. 
and the one on the right is set up to build another frame. So when we move over here, what you have here is you have these extra lengths of PVC to adjust the solar panel. Now this one here is set up for lengthwise or the vertical. And as you can see, we have the two outside ones almost the total length. And the next set is about two thirds. And those two in the center are actually one third. You got an expansion joint there. And with that uh, different, uh, with the expansion joints, you can do different angles. So the long one here for the long way, uh, the longest ones are for a 45 degree angle. And then the other ones will give it a lo lower slope. But you can take the other ones and add on and bring it up almost to flat. So what you've got is you've got down here, the two outside ones are for 45. And then you have, uh, those are T's. And then you got three more T's, one in the center and the two on the, on the inside of the outside ones. So then to also to mount the panel, widthwise, you've got this T over here. And this one down over here so that you can mount it two different ways and then the suction cups so you can mount it to the little guy max you know, I've got two other ones down here for the other position and then uh, the straps across here are some tie wraps just to hold these guys because they tend to swing down when I'm mounting it and all it is is uh, longer tie wraps or zip ties all the way around to keep them in place and then if you're going to remove it you just twist it and take it out and you use it so now in addition to just to point out a few more things we put uh, zip ties here to hold the suction cups I bought these little chair protectors they're a medium size from Amazon. I'll have the link for these at the, at the bottom of the video. Also, um, we have these uh, screws here. Then you hold the corners on with the wing nut. So, over here, I have this panel ready to build the frame for. And... When you drill the holes through the center here, because it's a flange screw, you got to bevel this piece here so they can fit that on and get it through, put that wing nut on. So we're going to go ahead and build the other frame, just like this frame over here that we've got. And then after we get that all together, we'll take some pictures of it mounted both vertically and horizontally. pretty easy um, you really don't even have to measure with the corners over here you just take the PVC and you measure from about here about five eighths of an inch in to here with the PVC pipe and you cut the pipe and put it in but you're gonna have to take the screws out to fit it in so and over here when you do this one you start from the outside edges and you put the first two on each side and then you do the next two and you're all through so back up a little so you can see it we'll go ahead and put that frame together here we have the uh, two panels completed with the frames side by side um, I want to point out something here for the horizontal position, which is these guys. So you can lay it horizontally, narrow side, and they're opposite each other. And so that's so, when if you want to connect these in parallel with here, with a Y connector, then you'll be able to do that. So if you put it on the other side, it's easy to move. Just take the screws out on each corner or one corner, take it out, put it over on the other corner. So the other thing I'd like to point out was I mentioned you needed two sticks, 10-foot sticks of half-inch PVC tubing. Um, 
it turns out you really need two and a half. So if you do two frames, you'll need five pieces. And if you do one frame, you'll need three pieces. And the last thing I like to point out is these little rubber guys on the end of these sticks here. So right here, so you won't damage the side of the little guy Max. And it also provides an, an, a surface to uh, grab on better. But uh, the bought these and you just peel off that bottom white uh, tan part. Uh, this is awful slippery here. It's good for a chair. That's what these are made for. But for this, uh, I'd rather have this uh, glove part. So that uh, finishes up the two frames. Next thing I'll do is uh, show you some configurations on the little guy Max. Here we have the uh, vertical mounting position on the little guy Max. I'd like to point out, you want to stay away from these uh, refrigerator vents over here and away from the hot water exhaust over here when you mount these on the little guy Max. So this is a vertical position. Here's your adjusting rods all over here with the little things and just move them up. Let's see if I can move this up. Here's one. Here's the other. So you can move this all the way up to a 45 degree angle. If you want to use some of the extra pieces on below, you can bring it up even flat. Uh, those little rubber chair protectors work really well. They grab nice. And those suction cups at the top, those are fantastic. So, I don't know how many, how often I'll use the vertical position, uh, especially if it's windy. I'm going to do the next configuration is the, the uh, narrow side with two of them side by side. Here are the uh, solar panels mounted on the Little Guy Max in the horizontal position. Um, I have them connected with a Y connector so that they are running in parallel give you 220 watts of power uh, move over to the side here same deal as the vertical one we did there's your adjustment legs you got other legs you can put on and make it bring it up even flatter or you can adjust it down so here's what the other one looks like here's the Y connector right here these two will connect to the solar controller so this is a wrap on mounting the panels on the side of the Little Guy Max. Uh, these panels can be also put on the ground uh, and also be uh, run in parallel. So this is a wrap on this uh, first part. And the next part will be the solar controller, the wiring of that, and the hooking up of it. So if you like our video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe.